Welcome back. And welcome back to Monday Night Raw Recap. On a Tuesday. Obviously. Gonna keep saying it. Of course we're gonna keep saying it. And, and it's actually the Superstar Shake-Up. Continue on Monday to end up SmackDown. Of who's gonna go on SmackDown and who's gonna go on Raw. We had some surprises. Yeah, also it popped up the Shields Lush chapter this Sunday at yeah. 930 on the network. Yeah, they pull that crap again. But, like always. of course I want to, because I'm a Shield fan. <laughs> no, I'm just sick of it. They're saying it's going to be... The last time was supposed to be the last match, now they're doing it again, so that makes that a lie. Just like how they said the um, Shawn Michaels Triple H thing was supposed to be one time, but they ended up doing it twice. <laughs> and then it's supposed to be like the... What was it? John Cena vs. The Rock. It was supposed to be one time thing, and then they did it for two WrestleManias. Right? Yeah. WWE, you're nothing but liars. Right and away. frauds. And Stephanie McMahon starts off raw, and she's pretty much just said about the shakeup. Then she says, Welcome to the best in the world, my brother, Shane McMahon. And to make a long story, to make it, sh uh, make it short and to the point, Shane's just doing his little, I'm the best in the world. He tries, he says, says it in French, and then he starts saying, Let's see who, who's um, going to go to raw. Who's the first raw? And then we hit the Miz's theme song hit, and then the Miz comes out. Hits Shane McMahon in the back of the head. Then they take it to the fans. Miz comes out with a chair. Yep. And yeah, the Miz is actually bleeding on the side of his head. Yeah. So, yeah. That's a good so way to start Monday Night Raw. So, now Miz is on Raw. So, favorite first match of the night was Ricochet, Aleister Black, Hawkins, and Zack Ryder. First revival and Viking experience, a.k.a. War Raiders. Why can't they just call them War Raiders? <laughs> I don't know. Let's uh, see. They uh, Ricochet and Alistair Black kept their NXT names. Why can't you just keep War Raiders? War Raiders is awesome. But, but still, the Viking Experience and the Revival won. Well, the Viking Experience is beat Hawkins and Ryder, so yes. that means technically they can go for the title match, right? Yeah, they beat the champions. They did like a fallout on Zack Ryder. Third tag team move. So. And then it popped up um, that Cedric Alexander, he's coming to Raw. And Cedric Alexander is the um, cruiserweight division one, 205 yeah. Live. Yep. And then, second match was um, Finn Balor, and it's going to be against Cien Olmez. And, of course, for the match, our Cien Olmez is just saying... Talky, talky, talky. Let's fight. That's another shake-up. From SmackDown to Raw, Cien Olmez and Vega. Ah, so look, Alistair Black's wife, uh, Vega, actually gets to go to, uh, with him to Raw. So wherever he goes, they go. So Black and Ricochet are now Raw superstars. Yeah. I just dropped your fo your your. But, I just dropped um, your. Finn was gonna put Olmez back in the ring, and then Vega, she like did the, her move on. She used her, she did those, gra the grappling with the thighs, and then actually yeah. threw them on the floor. And then, um... Almaz did, did, did uh, hammerlock, hammerlock DDT. DDT for the win on Balor. So he kind of gets a title shot. Elias comes out, he's trying to do his song, and Rey Mysterio comes out. Yep, so now Rey Mysterio is on Raw. Then... Him and uh, Ray and Lars Sullivan end up having a little, a tiny little fight, but Lar uh, Lars Sullivan... Well, well, Ray standing tall against Elias, and then he's standing tall, and then that's when Lars Sullivan comes out. Be on top. Ray actually tried to put up a fight with Lars Sullivan, but... Lars but Sullivan... Sullivan hit him with his signature move, the, the freak accident. Yeah, and then powerbomb, so... And then, um... Rude and Gable! They're just pretty much out there. And it Challenge. was funny because... No, here's the big, big wh whoops of the WWE. Go ahead and say it. When the name prompter is supposed to be Rude and Gable, who, who did they uh, call them? I think they were a little too early putting it on the screen because they spoiled who came out. Because Rude and Gable were talking talking about no. whoever wants them and then no, the name popped up. The Usos. So basically, as they're talking, the Usos. It popped up the Usos. So yeah. And then, then, then it's when the, finally the Usos... Came out. And the Usos won. There you go. Of course, the Usos won with a double splash on Gable. So, list off so far who are the NXT. So far, who, who are the superstars as right now I on Raw? know who's on Raw is it The Miz, 
Cedric. Uh, Cedric Alexander, EC3, Cian Olmes and Vega, Usos, it just, ooh, that's a spoiler. Well, you already did it, you already said it, so we gotta say it. Yeah, but, there's supposed to be a main event match, and it's supposed to be The Shield, or Roman and Seth, versus, what was his name, Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, and Baron Corbin, so their secret partner, actually I already spoiled it, is AJ Styles. Yeah, well we'll get to that match later. Naomi. Well, another spoiler. Well, how am I supposed to know? Well, okay, Eric... here we go. Eric Young, Rey Mysterio, and Lacey, Lay, uh, Lacey Evans. Well, anyway, well, moment, not... moment of bliss. Sami Zayn. What? Okay, it was the Sami Zayn, and pretty much was just playing his music over and over and over. The fans were just say, humming and singing his song. Yeah, but here's the thing. Miss saying he loves to, he loves being in Montreal, but he hates the fans as always. Okay, yes, really. cut print. Moving on, let's go to the, next the iconics. Now, before this match, it showed earlier iconics of Bailey because Bailey was trying to get a hold of Sasha. And here's the thing for us fans: that the Ash is the one that knows. And I us. I've seen the thing that she might be going to another wrestling company. So she's quitting, and they're putting that into a storyline. Because I think it's because she's mad because she lost titles, and that she don't want to go on SmackDown or something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. That's the thing I've seen. By the way, it's the Iconics and Bailey versus Bailey against who she chooses. It's another superstar shakeup, and like I said, Naomi. So wherever the Usos goes, Naomi follows. Because one of them is her husband and they and don't want to split them up. Billy and uh, Naomi won, but Naomi pinned Billy Kay, so... But here's the thing. I find Bailey and Naomi a much better duo than Sasha. So I could see, I could actually see, like, them coming out... Uh, Ni Bailey and them coming out with her music... And they're wearing glowing uniforms, and then as they're da they're dancing, Bailey gets the the uh, gl glowing pairs of inflated the uh, inflated Baileys. Yeah, that would actually be good. I want to see that. Let's do that. Yeah, then, All right, here we go. EC three coming out. Yeah, he's coming out, and he's pretty much saying he wants to he wants somebody. He wants to fight somebody, and then Roger Roman comes out. And it doesn't even end up being a match. Even end up he being just a match. destroys him. He destroys EC3. And then they're like, EC3, you sure you want to be on Raw? You sure you don't want to be on SmackDown? Then Becky Lynch comes out and she's going out. And her match is against yeah. Ruby Riot. Yep. And of course, Becky made her tap to the disarmer. Then and, Natty comes out. And then Liv and Sarah try coming in after the match. But, um. Becky stands tall. She stands tall. Then. Then Natalia comes out. She ends up saying she um, ends up challenging Becky Lynch because she wants the ti she wants the ti if she wants the titles she wants you know there so it wants to be a friendly match. Then Lacey Evans comes out and she's na and she goes to tells Natty that she's too old to be still wrestling and she had the authority by the McMahons. To have a match with Natalia, and if she won, she'd be first in line to challenge Becky Lynch. Since she already attacked Becky Lynch. Yeah, so it'll be like whoever wins gets first in line for Becky's Raw title. And it's actually a pretty good match. Yeah, end up being Nadia and Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans ends up winning. With her woman's right. And yeah, then ends winning. up going into a moon, um, moon moonsault. That's like a top of the ro rope back flips. Yep. I want to see Lacey Evans and B Becky. Yeah, he likes Lacey Evans. Well, let's see. I think she's actually pretty good. She's got style and class. So. And I think it's because she has that little southern accent that's bringing back memories of Rogue from the X-Men cartoon. <laughs> I can't help it. That was my childhood and then crush. The, That's probably every guy's childhood crush when in the 90s. There was a creepy promo, too, and I think it was revolves Bray Wyatt again. First, it was the ch the, ch the puppet chicken in the, in, in the box. Then it's the dollhouse, and it's that black-haired Annabelle-looking thing. Yeah, it has to be Bray Wyatt. Oh, well, he's coming soon. It's got it has it has that Bray Wyatt feeling, but then it's like it could be somebody else, but you never know. 
But we'll find out. If it's going to eventually come. Now, here's our Here's the main event, event which I spoiled, who uh, joins uh, Reigns and Rollins. Let's see. Ro uh, Roman does the spear to Bob Eli, actually. And then a phenomenal forearm for the win. Yep. And so I do Styles and Roman and stuff win. So. So that's pretty much Raw. That pretty much was Raw. I mean, it was actually good for Shake Up. It was cool. Yeah, it was. Now there's a continuing. It's continuing to the first so day on SmackDown. Now so. we're going to find out which Raw or NXT superstars go to SmackDown. I heard there's this thing on it. Thing I've seen that Roman's gonna be a SmackDown. I don't know if it's true or not. Well, they did say we don't know how long it's gonna be to uh, for them to if they're gonna be the last time on their things. So. And then there's the Sunday event, which is just only WWE Network. Yeah, so so I'm, it's just I'm, last time you're gonna see the Shield, and then yeah. there's Finn Balor's fighting uh, fighting. For the title, yeah. it said that. I don't know if any more matches, but I know it's going to be, of course, the Shield, obviously. Don't know who they're going against. I think it's just going to be a, a short hour thing. Yeah, it's probably not going to be that long. It's going to be like NXT. So, um, yeah. Let's know. Are you going to be watching that Shield last chapter? How and then they keep doing the promoting for the next WWE. I mean, the Wrestle WrestleMania, which is going to be in Tampa, Tampa Florida. Yeah. And it's got the pirate theme. So you know what I want? Car chain. Yes. Car chain there. Uh, well, let's see. If you're going to do your little promo commercials with a pirate ship and it's going to be Tampa Bay because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, then you have to have a pirate themed event. I mean, like. Yeah, so. Yeah, let us know. How did you like the first part of Superstar Shake Up? Did you, do you like who's on Raw now? Um. Are you excited that Lacey Evans is going to probably go against Becky? She, she, she might end up losing. Do you like how the War Raiders names Viking Experience and the War Raiders? I'm still iffy about that. I like <laughs> War Raiders better. So, um, let us know. Um, yeah. Bubby, why did you put hearts around Cedric Alexander <laughs> on that paper? I just drew hearts. I was bored at that point. Yeah. Yeah, we know why. Dean's not on Raw or he's not going to be on like wrestling Cedric anymore. So you have to find your new boo. I don't like Cedric Alexander that way. Oh, yeah? Who do you like that way on wrestling? I could, I still got Seth and Roman. But you got to get in line with Roman because my mother likes Roman. Oh, well. So you got a big thunder thigh Godzilla like Norwegian woman. Uh. Gonna, you're going to have to wrestle for that. Go and on. I gotta wrestle Missy. She likes Roman too. Oh, so you got Godzilla and a sumo wrestler <laughs> to fight uh, to fight against for Roman. Yeah. So. So you got Rey Mysterio, and you have um, the big slow the uh, Missy Jacks, and then you got Samo <laughs> uh, Sam uh, Samoa Mom. Samoa Mom. Samoa Mom. <laughs> and then fucking Missy <laughs> Jacks. <laughs> I'm not like most girls. I eat Wendy's and Burger King. And <laughs> oh, wait. Did you hear about the Angry Whopper coming back? I guess so. Yeah, that's sad. Cause no angry grandpa, so no angry Whopper. Yeah. Well, grandpa had the angriest Whopper. So, yeah. That's going to be it. Um, So, make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.